Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. We all know the highest point on Earth. It's Mount Everest. But do we all know the lowest point of planet Earth? No, we don't. And there's a pretty good reason for that. It's because it scares us. It scares us so badly that the first human beings to reach this depth were scarred for life. The lowest point of the Earth is called the Mariana Trench, and it is simultaneously one of the scariest places humans have ever dared to tread. How scary? Well, you tell us. Let's tell you the stories of the incredible and almost unbelievable creatures that we found living at the bottommost part of our planet. Number 10. Dumbo Octopus Before we get started, you need to have a grasp of what the Mariana Trench truly is. It's not just some trench in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In fact, most scientists didn't even know that the trench existed until a few decades ago. The Mariana Trench is about 36,000 feet deep. It's so deep that if you inverted Mount Everest and plunged it into the trench, its peak would need to be about 7,000 feet taller to actually reach its lowest depths. That deep? Yes, yes that deep. That's why scientists were shocked to find that animals were existing this deep underwater. And they did this while living under unimaginable pressure. And one of these peculiar animals is the Dumbo octopus. You may say, well, what's scary about an octopus? Well, this one swallows its prey whole. The Dumbo octopus can only be found in the deepest of the deepest parts of the ocean. And it is one of the few octopus species that doesn't chomp on food. Instead, it just swallows them whole. Number nine, deep sea dogfish. This dogfish is a fish. At least it says so in its name, but it doesn't have any scales. Instead of scales, it has slippery and slimy skin that resembles that of an eel. The dogfish is about seven inches long, and like all animals found at the Mariana Trench, it loves to swim at the lowest depths of the sea. Like many deep sea creatures, this dogfish relies on bioluminescent body parts to communicate with other fish or even camouflage. It's little wonder that when scientists reached the depths of the trench, they reported seeing eerily glowing creatures that resembled something they'd never seen before. Number eight, barrel eye fish. If you've ever been to the depths of the ocean, you'd know that light is a very rare thing. The darkness is all effusive, and it's usually indistinguishable from the darkness you may experience in the middle of the night. The reason for this is that the Mariana Trench is so deep down that it's impossible for even sunlight to penetrate that far. Since light is a rather precious thing at these depths, the ability to detect even the faintest glimmer of light may be the difference between life and death for many creatures. Thus, a lot of fish, like the barrel eye fish, have evolved peculiar abilities. How peculiar? Well, the barrel eye fish has a transparent head, and inside that head are two sensitive barrel-shaped eyes, which are frequently pointed upwards. This is what allows the fish to see silhouettes of its prey. What makes this fish even more peculiar is that it cannot survive in shallow waters. It would simply just crumble. In fact, scientists only just discovered that it existed when they went deep sea diving. Despite studying for years, we still have so many questions about this very strange fish. Number seven, benthicodon. Jellyfish are fairly normal. They're quite popular even. However, the benthicodon is a different kind of jellyfish. The Mariana Trench is the reason for this strangeness. The benthicodon is basically a jellyfish with a compact top that is called the bell. This bell is usually smaller than three quarters of an inch to 1.2 inches in diameter, and it's usually laced with about 1,500 wispy tentacles. These tentacles are what it uses to move under the immense pressure at the Mariana Trench. If you've seen these jellyfish before, you'd know that they are usually transparent. However, this isn't so for the benthicodon. In fact, these jellyfish have an opaque reddish coloring on its bell, and scientists believe that this hue serves to hide the bioluminescent glow of the tiny crustaceans that the benthicodon eats. Number six, goblin shark. Sharks are generally bad news. Goblins are terrible news too. But shark and goblins? Oh brother, that's a really bad combination. There are very few animals that are as aptly named as the goblin shark. It looks exactly like how you'd imagine an unholy combination of sharks and goblins would look like. First off, the shark has a pointy snout that looks like some sort of biological sword. Beneath the lone sword on the shark's head, there's a pair of jaws that totally changes the meaning of the words ugly and terrifying. 
In your mind, you probably think that this shark is colored gray or blue or black. At least those are the colors of regular sharks, right? But that's where the goblin shark is different. This shark is actually colored pink. To make things even worse, perhaps, these sharks can grow up to insane lengths. If you ever find yourself in the Mariana Trench, you discover that a goblin shark would dwarf you in no small manner. These sharks can grow up to 18 feet in length. That's like more than twice the size of the tallest man the world has ever seen. Like many animals in the Mariana Trench, scientists know very little about the goblin shark. For example, they don't know how it reproduces as a pregnant female has never been caught before. Number five, sea devil anglerfish. When a fish is called a sea devil, you kinda intuitively know that it's not a good sign. We mean, do you know any good thing that has the word devil in it? We bet you don't. The sea devil has a pretty good reason for bearing this strange and scary name. To start with, the fish looks like what you'd imagine a devil looks like. It has a misshapen body, a horrendous looking face, razor sharp teeth, and a body that looks like a mix between an amoeba and something equally shapeless. Thankfully, this devil is usually not very huge. Most sea devil anglerfish only reach a total length of 8 inches. Imagine if something this despicable looking were able to grow to the size of a regular human being. Imagine the horror! But the shape and look of the anglerfish isn't the only thing that makes it extraordinary. There are other things as well. For example, in order to mate, the male anglerfish actually fuses with the female. And when we mean fuse, we mean that the teeth, fins, and eyes disappear, leaving only a few internal organs. Unlike other prey, the sea devil anglerfish doesn't dart after animals. Instead, it has a protrusion from its forehead that it dangles to attract starstruck animals. Since almost half the body of the fish is its mouth, it can actually devour animals much larger than it. That's the sea devil for you. Number four, deep sea hatchet fish. The world is full of many funny looking creatures. However, very few manage to look like an actual human invention. And one of those few fish is that deep sea hatchet fish. And yes, it looks just like a silvery swimming hatchet. All species of hatchet fish look almost the same. They all have shiny scales, a metallic hatchet-like appearance, and they're usually very small and ugly looking. It does appear that the Mariana Trench is the home of the ugliest and weirdest looking animals. For the most part, scientists aren't surprised about this. Living and evolving at depths that these animals live at tends to give rise to extremely terrifying features. Like many fish living at this depth, hatchet fish have bioluminescent bodies. This means that they can alter the brightness of their glow based on how much light they're exposed to. With this, they are counter-illuminating their bodies, which is a neat evolutionary trick that helps camouflage them easily. With a dim, self-produced light, they are able to reduce their silhouette, and this makes it very difficult for predators from below to spot them. Number three, frilled shark. At number three, we have yet another shark. And while this shark doesn't have a scary name like the goblin shark, it has a decidedly scary look. The easiest way to describe the shark would be to call it an eel with the spirit of a shark. It has a six foot long body that looks like what you might find on an eel. The shark gets its name from rows of frills that adorn its body, and to add to that majesty, it is 20 rows of trident shaped teeth that will badly damage anything that gets between them. For years, people said that the shark actually moved like an eel. However, recent research shows us that that may be impossible. Instead, scientists now believe that the shark may actually strike their prey like a land-based snake may do. What a weird shark, wouldn't you say? Now it's time for today's best pick. Our best picture for today was sent in by a subscriber. If you come across a picture online and would like to know more about it, you can send it to us. Who knows, your picture might even feature in a future video. Number two, telescope octopus. What's the telescope octopus? Is it an octopus shaped like a telescope? Or is it a telescope shaped like an octopus? Well, what do you think? All we know is that the telescope octopus got its name from its protruding eyes, a unique feature of octopuses. Unlike many other octopuses, this one doesn't flit about on the seafloor. Instead, it drifts about the water column in the deepest parts of the sea. The octopus doesn't swim horizontally either. Instead, it suspends itself vertically, and scientists believe that this helps it stay hidden from prey as it is more difficult for them to see its shape. If you did manage to get so deep in the Mariana Trench that you see a telescope octopus, you would wonder why your mind was playing tricks on you. 
The body of the octopus is so clear that it is transparent and it looks eerily like a ghost. It's little wonder that the first scientists to reach the Mariana Trench reported unbelievable sights. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, zombie worms. We all know that zombies are never good news. Hollywood has taught us that much. Zombie worms are definitely not shouting for brains of anyone anytime soon, but they're almost just as scary. Well, how scary are they? They can actually consume the hardest bones in the world. And yes, that includes that of whales. But how can these tiny worms do this? They don't have teeth, right? Well, that's true, but they have acids. The acids that these worms secrete makes it easy for them to access the inner content of these dead whales. Thank God we don't have these kinds of worms on land. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel.